It's uh, 20 to 7. Now, during their 10-day tour of Southern Africa last month, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex celebrated the continent's people and culture. It was also their first overseas official trip with their four-month-old son, Archie. And it was a tour that we can see more of in an ITV documentary tonight. Let's have a little look. She has a new husband, new country, new job, new family, new life, new baby. So, in part, this colourful, vibrant tour was a chance for her to focus on the work she wants to do. Like here in Nianga, where a charity called the Justice Desk, supported by the Queen's Commonwealth Trust, is teaching women how literally to fight back against endemic violence. Oh my goodness, it's, um, it's the most inspiring. When we just got here and to see everything that they're doing, but also that it's not just the, the girls that are feeling empowered, it's all the role of the men and the young boys who are also helping them. Well, the couple also spoke about the pressures of being in the public eye and life as newlyweds and new parents. And joining us now is the Royal Historian and Commentator, Victoria Howard. Thanks very much, Victoria. I don't know how much have you seen of this documentary, but clearly they felt like they want to give the public a bit of a glimpse behind the scenes. Definitely, and I think the main focus of this documentary will be the amazing work they were doing, highlighting gender equality or inequality, uh, racial issues and things like um, gender violence as well. Because so much noise around them recently has been to do with Meghan and her relationship with her father and mm -hmm. um, use of public funds and so on and so forth. So I guess they want to focus very much on those issues that they care about. Absolutely, and I think for, for both of them it was, it was a big step, a uh, big tour. You know, they holidayed there as a couple privately, Harry spent many, many um, trips there himself and for them to actually go there uh, and Meghan to say, do you know, I'm here as a woman, a royal and your sister as a woman of colour. I think that's a big deal for her. And yet, inevitably, of course, there's all, all of the, the stuff about the causes that they want to champion and yet this conversation that they are having at the moment about their awkwardness around the media mm -hmm. is really quite striking, isn't it? When, when Meghan at, at says directly yes to the question, you know, has it been a struggle adjusting to the media spotlight? And Harry makes that really powerful comparison about every, every flash of a camera, yes. every, a, every click of a camera reminds him of what happened to his mum. Mm -hmm. And the intriguing thing is, is, is how different it seems that Harry is dealing with and handling the media versus William. I was reading something the other day about how he'd... He'd gone to the back of the plane after that bumpy flight that they'd had in Pakistan yeah. and was joking with the press pack about mm -hmm. about uh, how they'd how they'd found it. So so different in terms of he seems to be quite comfortable outwardly. Mm -hmm with the media and Harry less so. Yeah, I think that's possibly a reflection of their, their positions. You know, William, of course, future king, he knows that he has to tread this line very, very carefully. Um, Harry has a bit more freedom in that regard, and, and Meghan as well, to actually say, no, we're, we're going to do things a bit differently and we're not going to take this, hence the lawsuits. And actually, it's probably fair to say that Meghan has been under greater scrutiny because of her background mm -hmm. and her own her whole life experience and, and perhaps the Duchess of Cambridge has been. Let's hear, this is another clip of her talking about coming to terms with her new life as a royal and the scrutiny that she's faced. Look, any woman, Look, any when, woman they're, especially when, they're when, they're when they're pregnant, you're really vulnerable. And so that was made really challenging. Mm -hmm. And then when you have a newborn, you know. You mm -hmm. It's really, a long time ago, but I remember, yeah. yeah. You know, and especially as a woman, it's really, it's a lot. So you add this on top of just trying to be a new mom or trying to be a newlywed it's um yeah well i guess and also thank you for asking because not many people have asked if i'm okay but it's um it's a very real thing to be going through behind the scenes and the answer is would it be fair to say not really okay since it's really been a struggle yes
That's interesting. It mm. says here also the Times this morning they're planning six weeks off for some family time as a break from royal duties next mm -hmm. month. Mm. I think that's um, a really big uh, issue for them. Of course, they're, they're struggling with this, but they've been really open about it, which is refreshing. We don't get that from the royals. And especially with their work on mental health, um, they'd be a bit hypocritical if they weren't so open. So I think this is a really encouraging step. What's really interesting, listening to that clip, is how much more powerful it is than just reading the quote yeah. of exactly the same thing. You can hear the emotion in her mm. voice, you can see it in her eyes. She's genuinely uh, feeling quite emotional about it. So, um, yeah, I think people are going to be quite touched to actually see the full, the full piece later tonight. Mm. Well, we'll look forward to speaking to you a bit later on. Yes. Thanks for coming in so early on a Sunday morning. <laughs> uh, and that documentary that we were talking about, Harry and Meghan, An African Journey, it's on ITV tonight at 9 o'clock.